want to say thank you for having me. Thank you for inviting me and stuff. Thank you for being here. You're welcome. And um, I write poetry and spoken word. Right now, I'm on my third book. It's called The Blackberry Domino, and it should be out next month. Um, so I was just going to spit something from that, and then I'm going to go back to doing what I was doing. <laughs> All right. Can I ask you a favor? Mm -hmm. Spit two. Okay. Mm. I could do that. Huh. Um, so this book I did a little bit different, but it's still a poetry book or whatever, but I definitely dedicated it to my friend, which is actually the anniversary of him passing away today. His name was Jeff Hewitt, um, a big spoken word legend in the 757 um, that really helped me to craft my writing and kind of get it together as far as just learning what it needs to look like on page. And so I'll always be grateful to him for that. And I miss him a lot, a lot, a lot. And so um, with my last two books, he had a lot of influence as far as helping me, you know, edit and get it together and all of that type of thing. So with this book, I definitely dedicated it to him. And um, this is the first thing that you'll read in that book. <clears throat> I said, Jeff, it shook the planet of Norfolk to its knees as some of the worst of us always knew it would. Never heard the roar of emptiness until bad haiku after bad haiku was posted and you weren't there to call them out. That's when it hit me. You were really gone and I think how Who's going to be an asshole enough to correct them? All they got to do is apply an element of nature, goddamn. But you're gone. So some write bad haiku or tell stories about you standing humbly in their background while most of the chicks reminisce like they regret not giving you the skins. That they could have made love to a legend. I told you, you were a whole legend. Like, why can't you just break away from the shadows and sit with me so we can talk shop about it? I mean, I know why, but I really expected more from you. No refurbished DeLorean. Have you not figured out parallel universe? Can we finally agree that science is fiction and you're sitting with God somewhere picking his brain for the perfect descriptions and an ultimate poem about how to grieve your loss? Don't laugh at me. No. Well, I knew you'd say that. And your voice will come to my eye ducts and pour over my cheeks a stream of grain that tastes like salt and whispers like dust. On your birthday, they all wanted to talk about blood and bone. Quoting your pessimistic ass to the point of infringement, I don't even think you could have upset me more. Last night, in the last scene of the last movie I watched before I drifted off to sleep, the man died with his eyes wide open, his pupils dilated in a bright sky, the blue shade too familiar, as if his eyes were, as if his tears were the water that last smile, and I hope that you grin, maybe even let the phrase holy shit lie beside you on the pavement. I want you to know, I believe that you smiled. I pray it. So that's the first one. Beautiful, that's beautiful. called, thank you. And that's called Dedication of, the, um, of my ne next book, The Blackberry Domino. So like um, I'm on this mic and I guess it's supposed to be, is this an empowerment type of mic or whatever? But I am on. What y'all talking about? What's, what's, what's our uh, subject? <laughs> whatever, whatever your spirit, whatever your spirit, what movie you talking about? I'm going to do one more, and then I'm out. Where are you from, by the way? Um, I'm originally from Manhattan, but I grew up in Portsmouth, Virginia, um, so I'm from the P, <laughs> downtown. Uh -huh. I heard that little. I heard that little New York accent come out when you said more. I was like, "Oh wait a minute, hold up." I, think I know that one. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit, and I'm up here visiting right now. So, like I say, for real, just thank y'all for having me tonight and everything like that. No problem. All this right. one is about my brother, and I've been thinking about that dude a lot lately. I've seen beginnings crash land into memories to get drunk over found sober thoughts while consorted in a position that blurs the foundation of love, salivating salvation and salutations like sad love songs that skip. But I remember dragonflies and honeysuckle in the summertime. Remember line for line, Big Papa and Can't You See? To this day, will ugly cries to that episode of Fresh Prince when Will scream, why he don't want me, man? Remember my first slow dance under a street lamp and cobblestone under our feet? 
and so much love in those kisses. I remember house parties and watching fights go down in the middle of the street. I remember I wrote poetry on the front porch and raps down the block. I remember I had best friends. I remember my mother's laugh. I remember her crying over my stepdad when he left. His bid ended one year and three months after she died, no lie. I remember the day he told me to cross my fingers. I remember how my brother danced like that old Chris Brown and any version of Michael Jackson. Usher could never, his, his sister, his keeper. I am his biggest fan. I remember his smile before the summer that broke it. They say she died on impact. He and I died from the impact. I remember when I had to tell him that that summer, he dropped to his knees. B, don't smile like he used to. I remember my rosaries. I remember the words. I never said them when I was homeless or afraid or staring at ceilings and catching diseases. Figured God didn't need to see me like that. I remember getting my daughters back. I am grieving the lost time with my son. I remember the summers I thought would kill me. My baby boy smiles like I'm going to be a memory in the summer of his that's happy and I am grateful. Someday I will find glory and a kiss planted on my skin where aloe should go and find myself healed and I can only imagine what that God do for the blood. That's that one. Wow. <laughs> that. Beautiful. Thank y'all, yes, man. Yes, Definitely yes, appreciate yes. your yes. presence and your poetry. Oh. That was awesome. Thank wow. you. So I appreciate y'all. And like I said, my book come out next month. It's called A Black Fairy Domino. I would definitely be grateful if all of y'all be able to tune in. I think we are going to go live with it or whatever, whatever. But if you are a local person, just definitely be look out on the book release stuff. Cousins in the car, I hope y'all come through. Um, yes, Mama Philly, you know I would love to see you. Mama Roxanne, yes, you know that you know, house off that corner, girl. You we know it, Taz. You know it. Um, yeah. The book release is going to be really nice. We're going to do it on 35th Street. Um, I don't want to bust out stuff, but y'all know right. the host. Y'all going to love her, her, her. Um, uh -huh. And I just think it's going to be really fun. And like I said, we definitely going to try to cast it. So um, hit me up and stay tuned and stay posted and everything. And I'm going to stay on for a little while and hear y'all. But like I said, thank you for having me. Good.